Man, inventory has changed in season five, and I'm gonna show you some tips on how to manage it. Let's do it. Welcome back, Warriors, to another Apex Legends video. I'm Warlog, and today I'm gonna give you some tips on how to manage your inventory like a pro in Apex Legends season five. As a quick reminder, I do stream every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday over on Twitch. The link will be down in the description below. So if you guys have any questions, join me over there. Okay, so inventory is a tough one to go through. Everyone has different ways they manage their inventory. And with the changes in season five, particularly to the grenades, now you have to be even more picky about what you keep in your bag. Let's hop over to the firing range so you guys know what I'm talking about. All right, guys, welcome back to the firing range. Today, we're going to be talking about your inventory and how to manage it. So today's topics I'm going to include are going to be the ammo amounts you need for gunfights through each level of the bags, shields, heals, phoenixes, and granadas. Okay, so starting out, I've already grabbed some items here. So when you first land in Apex Legends, a level one backpack is pretty common to find, but just in case you don't find one, you have 10 slots in your inventory, and this is typically what you're going to want to have. You're going to have two guns right i didn't grab a second one but my second one's going to be heavy you want to split the ammo between whatever your main gun is you're going to use you want to have the three stacks of ammo for that and the two stacks for your secondary weapon you want to have two sets of shields one set of syringes maybe one med kit or a battery depending on what you find first and at least one grenade okay now what this is going to do is going to allow you to fight effectively throw one grenade and be able to heal if you get hurt in a fight all right now as you level up and grab the first bag it gives you two more slots so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to split this for a for a battery and then probably more ammo for your secondary weapon so that way you got three and three and all your heals down here again keeping one grenade if you wanted to change it because you found a battery swap this out grab one grenade and then you're set to go this allows you in my opinion with 180 rounds of ammo it is more than enough for any gunfight okay in apex legends the gunfights typically don't last very long so i think 180 rounds depending on whatever gun that you have is going to be more than enough okay and then looking at your heels guys you're going to have at least you know possibly more than this i just grabbed one for the display here but you're going to want to have more shield so at this point what you could do with the level one bag is drop that and grab more shield cells and have eight of these two two a grenade and then 180 rounds of ammo now with the biggest change in apex legends is the grenades these no longer stack guys these no longer stack which is a a big problem but we're going to get into grenades in another video entirety so but the fact that these don't stack anymore it makes problematic for like managing your inventory you used to be able to just stack these two and be solid or like drop this and have four grenades but now you don't have that option so it, it makes managing your inventory a lot harder okay guys going up to the level two bag the blue bag this is going to give you a lot of slots you're talking about 14 slots right seven top seven bottom that's a lot of room for the level two bag okay so in my opinion this is going to be the best way to manage your inventory for your weapons again have your primary have the more ammo 180 still on your secondary is more than enough and then 240 on your primary okay that is more than enough for any gunfight now if you're somebody who is using a weapon that sprays from a distance you may need more of your primary but ammo wise this is more than enough that you need Okay, going down to your heels at this point this is where things can change okay you're gonna want to have at least two batteries two med kits in my opinion eight shield cells and then the four uh syringes just in case and then two grenades this is at a minimum okay two grenades is just so useful in this game even though they nerfed the grenade stacks like having two grenades to finish off enemies or just disrupt doors you know stop a revive from a lifeline or something anything like that is huge in apex legends now one other thing that you could do here guys is <clears throat> you could if you want to go short on grenades because you don't use them pick up a phoenix you know and then depending on the legend that you are you could always swap the phoenix for an ultimate excel like if you were watson or gibby in my opinion those are really good wraith uh, you know, having an ultimate accelerant is really good to use, um, especially late game. So you can swap that out for any one of these items. So in my opinion, guys, like this is probably the best way to do it. Now, if you want to go short and just go 180 on each of your guns because you feel like that's enough, 
then this loadout is also fine to have a phoenix kit depending at you know the point in the game on what level armor that you have if you have blue or less i would probably say a phoenix kit isn't necessary and you could go three grenades an ultimate accelerant or anything like that but if you have purple level or higher or if you have an evo shield that's about to level up i would definitely suggest getting the phoenix all right guys moving on to the level three bag the purple and golds bags they both have the same amount of inventory space you max out here with a freaking whopping 16 slots eight on the top eight on the bottom it's uh incredible how much you can carry now in here i've left two slots open the reason for this is is this right here is going to be your base this is going to be your base at this level you're gonna have 240 ammo for your primary, 180 for your secondary. Again, guys, this is more than enough ammo throughout the game for each encounter that you have, each gunfight that you have. Because essentially, if you finish the gunfight, you're gonna be able to get your ammo back, no problem. Same thing with heals. Again, you're gonna want two bats, two med kits, eight shield cells, four syringes. The reason for this is because we don't want our HP taking no damage, guys. Shield cells are more important than ever in this game, especially, again, with this nerf to grenades. I can't talk about it enough, but shield cells are more important. Now, these two slots down here are gonna be open for whatever you want. I definitely advise having at least two grenades. Grenades are so important, uh, but you can change this up. This could be a Phoenix. This could be more batteries. Okay, you could have more batteries of Phoenix. If you really want it because you're a slayer, you know, you could come over here and have some more ammo. You could really like go up to ammo and have 300 rounds. I feel like that's way too much. Now towards end game, if you, you know, a lot of people end up using the grenade. So if none's available, then sure, just ammo up out of your mind or shield cell up out of your mind. Um, in my opinion, I think it's too much, but you should definitely have a Phoenix at this point. You can maybe drop a battery and do an alt excel something like this is definitely a really good way to manage your inventory again guys now me personally i'm a player that doesn't rely too much on having a, a lot of ammo now one asterisk to this is is if you're using two guns that have the same amount of ammo so if i'm using two light guns then i would probably drop these two stacks make those light and it will free up a stack for something else so it'll look like something like this right free that up go there okay i got 340 rounds of ammo all right i can probably just grab another nade so this is one way to do it and then again the alt excel can be subbed out for more shield batteries for sure those are always great in the end uh quick note if you do have the gold shield i don't think that you need batteries you should never have that we're going to be talking about gold shields versus red shields in another video but the ultimate accelerant can be swapped out for more regular shield cells um you know more grenades if you wanted or two phoenixes that's always really good especially if you have like purple armor having two phoenixes is really nice but i think this right here is a good way to manage your inventory especially if you only have two of the same gun now once you split this up again i would go with the you know 180 rounds of the of the extra drop this and just grab more ammo of your secondary weapon you know and just be solid this is just a really good way to load out and manage your inventory now again my buddies are wanting to play with me uh sorry for that guys in this video but this is just a great way to manage your inventory and again guys everybody manages it very differently me this is my ideal setup especially for end game as i increase my bag size you know having grenades is just so good even though you only can carry one a piece i think they're very important apex legends it's just a good way to finish off teams especially if you have somebody low because a lot of players now with this nerf they're not carrying a lot of grenades there's been so many times in the mid to late game where players are not carrying grenades and all they're carrying is ammo shields and heals which is fine you know uh a lot of people don't like to use grenades they feel like it's you know a hindrance you know in their inventory you know they maybe they use too much ammo so they just want to carry more or they're not carrying enough of something else but to me this is an ideal loadout for having level four or level three backpacks or higher so again guys manage your inventory however you want these tips are really good uh having 180 rounds at least of ammo is more than enough for any gunfight if you wish to carry more that's fine having eight shield cells in my opinion is really good two uh batteries at the least two med kits and then four syringes no problem one phoenix always I think this is just a really good balance 
of inventory space and use again change this however you want guys if you guys do use my kind of setup here as you advance your bags from level one to level three feel free to let me know down in the comments how you manage your inventory and other ways that you use you know certain items in your inventory what stuff do you like to carry more than others let me know down in the comments below again guys if you have any questions about this video feel free to ask me questions i do stream over on twitch every friday saturday and sunday the link is going to be down in the description below and if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to drop a like if you're not subbed to the channel and you're not a warrior become one hit that sub button guys turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss out on future guide videos and for me warlog as always guys stay gaming i'll catch you in the next one peace